went to Israel and stood up in front of an Israeli bulldozer to protect a Palestinian home. And the bulldozer ran over her. The media, of course, buried it. Can you say of that woman that she is your enemy? Could you say of that woman that she is Gog and Magog? But she is white and she is American. So we, we would have peanuts in our heads if we make a blanket statement all white people or all Americans or all Christians or all Jews not at all don't fall in that trap let's fine tune to try look, to locate Gog and Magog we have to go to the Caucasus mountains and there at the Caucasus mountains we have to look for a people with power they have to be a people whose power was greater than any other power in the world at that time we have to look for a people who will eventually be moving from that northern area and moving towards Jerusalem shortly after the death of the Prophet وسلم, something very mysterious happened in that part of the world that historians have chosen to bury a tribe called the Khaza Khaza chose to embrace Judaism and so the world witnessed for the first time the very strange phenomenon of a non-Semitic people becoming Jews non-Semitic becoming Jews the genetic research is available on the internet anyone can study it you had conferences medical conferences which were organized to study these people the genetic composition they had a genetic composition which was unique in all of mankind no people in the world were like them this is this is scientific research And these people, the Khaza, chose to convert to Judaism, but they did so not for any religious reasons. They were not so much interested in the Kitab <laughs> and to follow the law. They embraced Judaism for purposes of political expediency. They were sandwiched between Islam and Christianity, Byzantine Christianity, and they chose Judaism. These European Jews who have no racial, biological connection with the Banu Israel multiply. <laughs> they multiplied and multiplied and breed it to such an extent that today nine or nine in every ten Jews in the world 90% or more are European Jews they outnumber 
the Semitic Jews by 9 to 1 or 10 to 1. These European Jews, if you look at the list of names of Nobel Prizes for science, for literature, would you name it? You will find that these are people who far exceed the rest of mankind in their intellectual brilliance, in their academic achievements, in their scientific research. They are a people different from the rest of mankind. And then you find that these Khaza who became Jews also chose to become Christians. So you have the Khaza infiltrating the camp of Judaism and infiltrate in the camp of Christianity as well. And from the ranks of these Khaza Jews and Khaza Christians, the emergence of the Jewish Christian alliance can be traced. It is this Jewish Christian alliance, Khaza, which eventually gives birth to the Zionist movement. The Zionist movement has absolutely nothing to do with Banu Israel. It is an essentially and an exclusively European achievement. It is these Chaza who having become Jews, first Jews and then Christians, who built an empire that was the most powerful in Europe and, and Central Asia. And when the armies of Islam had simultaneously defeated the two superpowers in the world, the Persian Empire and Byzantium and had emerged as the most powerful military force in the world. Khaza blocked our way. We could not defeat them. And so it would be quite correct to say that the Khaza demonstrated a military power without equal in the world at that time. It is from this part of the world that they spread out. They spread out to Eastern Europe, they spread to Russia, and eventually crossed the sea to the United States. And they are at the heart of the revolutions which transformed Europe from Christendom into modern Western civilization. They are at the heart of the Bolshevik Revolution in, in Russia, which overturned Christianity in Russia. They are at the heart of the French Revolution, in consequence of which the back of the Christian church is broken, the prohibition of riba is now consigned to the garbage bin. <laughs> and they are at the heart